bank records show the Biden family, their associates, and their companies received over $10 million from foreign nationals. Republicans have presented zero, absolutely zero evidence. There are thousands of pages of documents relating to financial transactions. Zero evidence. We've identified six new Biden family members involved. Absolutely no evidence. There's no evidence President Biden has any involvement here. Text messages from Hunter's laptop where Hunter complains about having to carve out huge amounts of the money he makes for his father. Quote, but unlike Pop at the bottom, I won't make you give me half your salary. No evidence of that. Well, I mean, he hasn't produced any evidence. They have uncovered no evidence. Various shell companies and this web of LLCs. You have Rosemont Seneca Partners, Rosemont Seneca Advisors, Rosemont Seneca Technology Partners. RSP Holdings. CNN has reported on this. There's no evidence. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If you have a moment, please hit that like button and subscribe for daily news and politics content. Today's clip comes to us from a Kevin McCarthy press conference where an administration's press reporter shows herself to be a total hack and have apparently zero interest in following the evidence trail on Joe Biden. And we're going to get right to that clip. But first, I know that many of you out there are very nervous about the economy along with the rest of us because of Dirt Brandon being in control. You're ready to invest, but you're not quite sure where to put that money. Well, I think Noble Gold has answers to those questions, so check this out. Do you want to take control of your financial future, but just don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments make it easy. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there is always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. said came out and said that that both chairman jordan and comer were not able to present anything that was an impeachable offense at this point is that an assessment that you share you know where impeachment inquiry is not impeachment so what impeachment inquiry is to do is to get answers to questions are you concerned about all the stuff that was just recently learned do you have any concern Listen, I don't care what's in Hunter Biden's. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared. Have you asked the White House any questions? Yes. Okay. Do you agree that, do you believe the president lied to the American public when he said he'd never talked to his son about business dealings? Yes or no? It's all right. Yeah. You, you can't answer that? Do you believe when they said the president went on conference calls? Do you believe that happened? That's what the testimony Okay. Says. Do you believe the president went to Cafe Milano and had dinner with the, with the clients of Hunter Biden, who believes he got those clients because he was selling the brand? Okay. Do you believe Hunter Biden, when you saw the video of him driving a Porsche, that he got $143,000 to buy that Porsche the next day? Do you believe the three million dollars from the Russian oligarch that was transferred to the shell companies that the Bidens controlled after the dinner from Cafe Milano took place? I've said it before, but it is unreal how uninterested these so-called reporters are in investigating Biden, especially since he's a known prolific liar and has been for decades, and he's also been lying about this scandal from the very beginning. Believe me, you are not angry enough about what the state media is doing to this country. I'm sure I'm not alone in how maddening it is that Farnoosh Shamiri and people like her can so easily deceive the American people into believing she's a trustworthy journalist when in reality she's just a biden regime operative like something out of ccp controlled china russia or north korea a reporter or journalist is supposed to be a check on power who themselves are accountable to the public this hack gets shut down running cover for corruption and immediately locks down her twitter profile at a bare minimum these are questions that deserve to be followed up and we all know for a fact that it would be treated like russian collusion if the tables were turned all right folks that's all i have for that one thanks for watching again if you enjoyed it please hit that like button share subscribe and make sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think about this clip